Hello and welcome to Michael McElintal and Nicholas Coe's Aya project. For this project, we'll be showing you a Let's Play video on the game Human Fall Flat. In this video, we will give a brief background of the game, look at its customizable options, talk about the genre of Human Fall Flat, certain design qualities that make the game unique, and the influence it has within today's gaming community. Human Fall Flat is a puzzle strategy game that was developed by No Breaks Games and published by the company Curve Digital. It was originally released for the PC on July 22, 2016, but soon expanded to the Xbox One on May 9, 2017 and the PlayStation 4 on May 12, 2017. It was then released for the Nintendo Switch on December 7, 2017. For this video, we will be playing Human Fall Flat on the PC. When looking at the customizable options, players can customize their character however they would like, as they are able to make their characters extremely unique. You can customize absolutely everything, from the head such as a penguin head or a snowman head, to the clothing such as a pirate suit, spaceman suit, or even a bathing suit, to the pants, from a set of pirate pants to a set of Santa pants. There are absolutely endless possibilities. You can also change the color or even include a picture of your own face if you have a webcam. In this game, the player plays as the main character named Bob, whose main goal is to solve intricate puzzles in a number of different environments. While there is not a specific storyline to follow in Human Fall Flat like other noble puzzle strategy games, the levels are still very enjoyable and the lack of story will not hinder the experience of the player. While protagonists in other games such as Portal have complex behaviors and movements, players will soon realize that Bob is a normal character with no significant powers. What also makes this puzzle strategy game so unique is that you can play with up to four of your closest friends to solve the complex puzzles. Human Fall Flat has its fair share of difficult puzzles, so getting more friends could possibly make the tasks and puzzles easier to do. The graphics for the game are quite simple. The game has a basic 3D design with little intricate details, but the design of the game and its levels is where it stands out. There are many shaped objects like the rectangular cushions in the beginning of the level, as well as square boxes and round construction balls that can help you progress through the game and levels. The levels are built in a way in which there are multiple solutions to solve the puzzle. One example, is using the switch to move the crane and hit the wall. You can play the game linearly, or as straightforward as possible, such as stacking boxes on a platform to unlock a door. However, you can also solve the puzzles non-linearly and find more complex solutions to obstacles, such as performing a skilled jump to surpass a certain obstacle. As you can see, this may take practice, as grasping these simple skills can be quite challenging. Michael and I struggled on understanding the basic controls, believing they were simple. The rules of the game are very straightforward. The operational rules for players can be to solve the puzzles or to just have fun with the game. Players can do it any way they want. You can follow the puzzle challenges step by step, or you can think outside the box and figure out puzzles in a non-linear way. For example, you could parkour through the map and sometimes skip the puzzle entirely. The foundational rules is to complete the level to progress through the game. Behavior rules vary depending on who you are playing with. Players who just want to complete the levels may have a rule to not sabotage one another, like throwing one another off a cliff. Or, there is no behavior rules at all, and players are free to do whatever they want. As you can see, players can interact with objects any way they see fit. Michael and I are moving and playing around with the yellow trash container. You can even open the lid. The jump we are about to do is a non-linear way of solving how to get to the next puzzle.
by doing this, we can even skip other puzzles that previously, if you follow the linear way, you would have to solve. The space in this game is continuous. Players have to observe the level's length, width, and height. There are many objects in this game. One object is the player itself. The player is a dynamic object because a player can move anywhere on the map. Other objects include any of the objects given in the environment, such as the box behind the glass. They are all static because they cannot move, unless grabbed. The operative actions for the player is moving your player by walking and climbing, while also using your arms to pick up or move objects, such as what Michael just did with the box, placing it on the weight lever. The resultant action is moving around objects to get through the level. The skills needed for this game requires mental skills. Mental skills involve memory, decision making, observation, and puzzle solving. In Human Fall Flat, players have to memorize as well as observe the landscape and its available objects to use in the various puzzles. Players also have to decide who does what and when in multiplayer. There are also social skills involved where players have to coordinate actions between one another. For example, I have to use the crane to use the construction ball to take down the wall in order for Michael to come back this way. Human Fall Flat has no narrative. Like Tetris, the goal of the game is to complete the levels. How players do it is up to the players themselves. The game can be a type of party game to just have fun with your friends and work together. Human Fall Flat fits many aspects of the gamer motivation model, but the one that fits the best is mastery. Mastery incorporates challenge and strategy. Challenge is when a game needs a high amount of practice, as well as having difficult challenges. Human Fall Flat has many difficult puzzle levels, which can be quite challenging. Even though you may figure out some puzzles fairly quickly, the player has to also master the controls. Unlike other games, the controls are quite simple. Players can jump, but the difference between other games is that you can control both arms of the character. Players have to aim where they want to extend their character's arms. Players use the mouse's left and right clicks to grab walls, to climb, as well as objects to move and place. The character itself is quite limp from the top half of the body, so controls can be quite challenging. According to the gamer motivation model, strategy is thinking ahead and making decisions in the game. Human Fall Flat incorporates this, especially when multiplayer is involved. Many of the puzzles are challenging, especially in single player, but with multiplayer, Players can work with one another to get through the puzzles easier. For example, one player can bring the box up using a lift and the other player can bring the box to the wait button. Single players can do this on their own, but it will take more time. In multiplayer, only one player has to make it through the end, so players can work together to get at least one player through in order to complete the level. There are many different decisions players can make in the game. One des is deciding which way players want to go to complete the level and who does what in multiplayer. Now we're going to talk about Human Fall Flat and its gaming community. When looking at the type of people who would enjoy Human Fall Flat, we see that almost every age demographic would fall in love with the gameplay. 
as the randomness of it can make everyone from a teenager to an adult smile. While this game has a single player option, you will definitely have a more enjoyable experience when playing with friends and other people. The combination of teamwork and problem solving ensure that people who are good at communicating with others and are very sociable will probably do better in this game than normal people. More so, as this is a casual game, Human Fall Flat will definitely appeal to gamers on both sides of the game playing spectrum. With you, whether you are a hardcore gamer who plays hours of games each day, or just a casual gamer who plays a game once a week, both will enjoy the gameplay within it. It is worth noting that Human Fall Flat is an indie game, meaning that it does not have the same amount of funding that big companies such as Nintendo and Rockstar Games have when it comes to development and advertising. However, this hasn't impaired its success, as when one looks at reviews from the gaming community, we see that Human Fall Flat has received significantly positive reviews, being rated 9 out of 10 on Steam by gamers, and 4 out of 5 on Microsoft. In conclusion, while this game does not have polished graphics like many present day games, the memorable moments of gameplay that you can experience with friends certainly make up for it. A good game provides the player with a positive and unforgettable experience, and you will definitely get these types of moments when playing Human Fall Flat.